right, it is a bit snowy. So, I'm just gonna creep along. Okay, green light, green light. Second, 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 catch. Three, three, catch. slow out right now. Um, I'm really only doing about 40 and I'm keeping about two, three lengths ahead. Um, I have good brakes and tires, but I don't know about anybody else. So, um, let's see how this goes. Alright, I'm stopping. Brake lights. thing about driving a manual. <laughs> Just help use the tranny as a second set of inertia stopping. Alright, so the plan is get off Highway 51 eventually. I was going to take the interstate, but <clears throat> there was an ambulance that I saw rush right up there as I was getting up to where I needed to turn there. So I figured, well, if there's an ambulance going to the interstate, that's going to be slow, if not a parking lot. So 51, even though it's a smaller road, it's actually been fairly clear so far, uh, which is kind of surprising. Um, right now, the roads aren't that bad. It's mostly really just the snow seems to be a little bit harder. Before it was very fluffy, now it's more a smaller sand that hurts. <laughs> um, yeah, this, you know, wiper's going, just keeping it slow, keeping it slow in control. Uh, there's a cop up there, so somebody either goofed or had a goof. So, let that dark behind me know it's breaking up ahead. Uh, hopefully, yeah, I think it's probably just speeding or something. Yes. Oh, oh, trash control activating a little. That is such a good reason to have trash control if you don't have it. It's so good in weather like this. You just, I mean, you have to work with it a little bit. Just make sure you're in the right gear, not over revving or anything, but you use it as a tool. So it really does help you stay in a straight line, especially the Volkswagen ESP. You can't say enough how much it is so good in this crap weather. Breaking, breaking. Alright, alright, alright. Going, alright, green light. Start in second. Keep the torque low. Tunnel. Well, that is a downside of driving a turbocharged vehicle in the winter, is boost. <laughs> it creeps up on you, and then you go, oh my gear, what am I happening? Um, but uh, just as long as you, if you drive a boosted car, you should definitely know at what RPM you can start making your boost. That way you can just kind of eyeball it. Yeah, if you have a boost gauge, that helps too, but even then, if you can just eyeball the tack, or even just learn the sound, that man's kicking up spray, so I'll just keep a distance. So yeah, all you need to be is blind for one second and then anything can happen. 
so we can slam on the brakes, or you can run into a Prius, and that would be good. Alright. So, nearing McFarland. So, kind of on the home stretch, halfway there. Um, I mean, it's only 12.39 right now, it is 32 degrees, according to the car. a little by that Ford. So yeah, we're just, we're cruising about 40, 45. Just keeping it slow. Because you got to remember, the faster you go, is to go twice the speed, it takes four times the stopping force. So, don't be an idiot. Somewhere around there. We'll see how the roads are. From a distance, they look fairly clean, at least. So just tap. We got a van behind me. He's gonna need a lot of warning for braking. We'll keep track of that. Because big vehicles take longer to stop because of physics. All right, we've got the green light. I love catching the green light in the snow because you don't have to worry about somebody not seeing you and then slamming the brakes at the last second and just bumping into your butt and then legal issues and things like that. Well, at least on the bright side, if I had to, if it really got bad, I could just stop into work. <laughs> I'm right by it now, so red light, red light, stop, stop in, stop and down, stop and downshift, stop and downshift, stop and downshift. Alright. Well, Greg's there. So at least one person's there if I really needed to have a place to camp out for a little bit. Really? Only Greg is there? Or did he just leave his car? Yeah. I'll find out tomorrow when I work. If I work tomorrow. <laughs> it's a Alright. So, 51 after McFarland. There is a lot of slush, it seems. Um, so, yeah, just keep it slow. I'm not going to pass this guy just because, one, that would be stupid, two, it emerges up ahead, so, eh, it really wouldn't really help me in the long run. And again, we're only doing 45, so, slow in control. be the hare, you're going to end up in the ditch. If you be the turtle, you might get there ten minutes late, but it's better than, you know, dying. At least in my perspective. Well, that van's hitting a lot of the slush. It's a little bit wider, but still, just keep an eye on them. If you ever see somebody go off into the ditch, don't just drive by them. Don't be a cock. 
Go help them if you can. At least make sure they're okay. slippier now that we're out of the greater Madison area, which is expected. It's not as important, but this don't do things stupidly. I'm slowing down, so let's slow down and return. since we're going up a hill now is a lot of people don't seem to remember from high school physics that go down a hill it's gonna take longer to stop you got gravity helping you go down so I've seen so many people last year that just slam on the brakes on a hill it's like you idiot you should have stopped like before the top of the hill maybe coast a little bit before you get the peak of it that way you lose some of your shed some of your momentum. Alright. Snow is picking up a little bit in force. And we're still doing 45. So I know it's not because I'm going faster that it sounds louder. It's just, it sounds more like rain. And rain is not what you want after there's slush on the ground. Because any rivets that people made on the ground, those get turned into tracks, and your car will follow those tracks. And if there happen to be tracks that, you know, had them go off a ditch, you're gonna go off into the ditch too. Roadwise, I was just you know getting that rain, so it may help melt it for the moment. So as long as I get home before it freezes, it's the biggest thing. It's not that when you when the rain when you have rain going onto snow, it, it helps melt it a little bit, so it makes it more of a slush. But so long as you get to your destination before that rain slush freezes, because that's when things get sketchy. Stoughton is it's relatively clear. It's the part a little after McFarland that's still a bit eh. But coming up to Stoughton, 
it's really just like driving on in rain. So, same precautions essentially. So we'll see once we get more towards the country roads. Picking up more. Oh. Can't feel the occasional traction slip. It's still 32 degrees, so it's kind of at that point where water can either be a solid or a liquid. It really just depends on that particular amount that you're measuring. You gotta remember, temperature is just the average energy. So if one patch is a little bit colder and one patch is a little bit hotter, they average out to, you know, 32. So you can technically have water freeze at like 28 degrees, or you can have it freeze at 40. It really depends on which part. It's got barreling down. Civic, no, nope, this guy's going that way too, alright. So the Civic knows that we're both turning. So he doesn't be a jerk and just run into us. Oh, Lexus, okay. Kinda looks like a Honda. And a Mustang in this, wow. Somebody grew balls. snow has already melted. This morning this was all snow, now it's mud snow. So, obviously it's, it is rain now. It's melting the snow quite fast. Which is good and bad. So, I've got about, my ETA is another nine minutes I'd call it. Still, I mean, it's still city road, so it's going to be more well kept than once I get out into the country, and that's where things will get sketchy. Most likely, we'll find out. Hey, if somebody runs into me, I have video proof at least. I feel calmer if there's nobody ahead or behind me. And yeah, that somebody could help you, but you crash more things to crash into. So yeah, now the roads are just they're just wet. It's rain. This is definitely rain. Yeah, my the snow that was kind of encasing parts of the car is all gone now. Yeah. Alright, he's gonna stop by now. Alright, I'll go. Okay, 
Yeah, this is the rain. It's trying to... I won't say downpour, but... It's like that rain you get right before it starts to pour. So... I am driving into the rain now. Yeah, it's getting pretty... Yeah. Their snow trucks are gearing up, so for when the poop does hit the fan, it'll be cut. Feel like you're gonna stop. Stop. I'm gonna go. Thank you. Shout out to you, Buick drivers. You're always so nice. Even if you might be old people, you're still nice. All right. Country road, not too bad. It's just very wet. Very wet and slushy in spots. If anything, it's more of hydroplaning than snow. Which, honestly, I would rather drive in the rain. It is, I don't know, it's more predictable, it seems. Snow just kind of takes you wherever you want, it wants to go with you, whereas rain... Oh. That side of country roads, they have divots that hold water, so gotta be careful with hydroplaning. So, oh, skip, skip. Come on, Mama Deus. You're doing awesome. Oh, yeah. I'll handle it. Nobody around, I'm gonna grab a little bit of love. Chugging through the water. Atta boy. Why are they not using bugs for rally cars? I mean, what in the world? These are doing, it's really, really good. Alright. You made it. 